So let's start with the Laravel Desk or browser testing. And with that, I'm your host Sarthak. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the instant notifications. So let's start and in this episode, we are going to see how we can install and set up Laravel Desk on our Laravel project. So here is the documentation of Laravel Desk and here I have literally a fresh installation of Laravel. So here how we can start with Laravel Desk. So if you go, you have introduction. Uh, let's just skip the introduction and go to this. We need to install Laravel Desk via Composer. So it will install Laravel Desk on our Laravel project. So now you can see Laravel disk is installed successfully and let's see on the documentation what is the next step. So because we are using 5.6 we don't have to do all these service provider kind of things. We just need to run this command. But before that let's just clean this and let me show you one thing. If I say php artisan only you can see because we have installed Laravel disk we have some of the disk related commands. And first command we need to run is dusk install. So php artisan dusk colon install. What it will do, let me just show you this thing. So if you go to tests folder, you can see we have feature folder, unit folder, create application, file and test case only. As soon as I hit this command and you've probably seen now we have a new folder called browser and another file called desk test case and in that way our laravel desk is successfully installed so let's just explore these things first thing first let's go to browser and here is the example test okay that's good but what this desk will actually do so laravel desk will provide you a capability to test your javascript behavior Suppose you have a website where the click event of the button it's just sending an Ajax request. Then if you are testing this, so you need to test it with Desk and Desk will simulate these things and it will create that JavaScript behavior that was not possible with simple PHP unit but how this will do all these things so you can see it uses browser this means we need to run the application to test it and behind the scene laravel desk uses chrome driver so here on this desk test case you can see this example test is actually extending this desk test case which is here and this is having this prepare function which is just starting that chrome driver and where is the driver driver is this so you need chrome has to be installed on your machine to use this laravel desk so these things are good but if i now go here so let's explore this test the basic test which is saying that okay we have a browser so open the browser visit home page and assert to see laravel this is very easy part so let's open the terminal how you can run dusk test it is simple you just need to say php artisan dusk so hit the enter and behind the scene it also uses php unit but having some more functionality but as soon as i run this hmm everything is looking fine we have not touched anything it is predefined test but why it is saying it is failed you know actually there is one reason behind this as i have told you this is a browser test it need browser and actually it need to start our server so let's just start server so php artisan serve hmm. it is started so again in a new terminal i will say php artisan desk run the test again it fails what is the reason behind this we have started the server also so the problem is you can see the server is started at this location 
one colon eight thousand, and on our dot env file, our app URL is actually this simple localhost. So we need to make sure, and this is super important thing. We need to make sure app URL matches with your server. So if you are using Laravel Valley or Homestead, whatever you have decided the domain name, you need to put that here. That is super important thing. So because we have changed .env file, let's restart the server. Go to second terminal. Once more, run the disk. And you can see it is successful. One test is successful, and you don't need to run PHP Arts and Disk every time because we have installed an extension here on our VS Code, which is called Better PHP Unit. So Better PHP Unit. This uh, this one is super important. Not this one. <laughs> this one is super important. And if you have this one then your life become very easy because now you just go here and hit command r or control r so it run the test same thing as we done on php unit so we have php unit test also so just like this one so same thing if i run this command r yeah it works and working on the disk test also so in that way we can start with laravel disk so in the next episode we are now going to see how we can proceed with laravel disk and learn how we can test and automate some browser behavior so if you have not subscribed to this channel go and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon share this video with your developer friends and like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram linkedin we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye